decades after pushing allegations of abuse aside, a new report shedding light on what Portland-based humanitarian organization Mercy Corps didn't do to help an abuse survivor. Today, that report is also detailing the extent of the abuse by co-founder Ellsworth Culver. It is 6 o'clock. Good evening. I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Elizabeth Din. The co-founder's daughter told our Lindsay Nadridge today this report is finally validation and acknowledgement of what happened to her and to others. Lindsay joins us live now with much more. Tanya Culver Humphrey reported the abuse to multiple people and reported it to Mercy Corps in the 90s and in 2018. It wasn't taken seriously, though, until after a report by the Oregonian in 2019. She says this independent investigation is a step in the right direction, but not the end. An 11 year old girl, me, an 11 year old girl had to. be underneath the table in the Mercy Corps headquarters being forced to perform a sex act. That, that's, it, it's like, it's sanitized. People need to know. They need to know what we're really talking about. The report details horrifying accounts of sexual abuse at the hands of her father, Ellsworth Culver, and other men. She told me the abuse happened for years, not only here in Portland, but in other countries when she traveled internationally with her father for Mercy Corps. My dad, I mean, was told that I would be helping other people by doing these things and trafficked. I was basically trafficked um, in order to serve this humanitarian mission, and that's what I was told. She says other young girls were abused as well, including a nine-year-old girl she says died in a Thai hotel after severe sexual and physical abuse. I have to speak out for her because she is, literally doesn't have a voice. She literally is dead. And nobody, nobody cared. And just because she was a refugee does not give anybody the right to discard her even now. In a statement, Mercy Corps said we feel deep regret that Mercy Corps failed in its responsibility in 1992 and 1993 to understand the extent of the abuse, assist in pursuing justice, and potentially prevent further harm. Mercy Corps says this report doesn't relate to any current team members and apologized for how this was handled. They've also since added safeguards to prevent this from happening again. Tanya told me she cried for hours when this report was released publicly, but said it needed to happen in order to save others. Reporting live, I'm Lindsay Natterich, Point Six News. Lindsay, thank you.